how to deploy MSM client through GPO. In an environment where there are new devices which are being added to the network, we need to make sure that every device gets MECM client installed. That is what we are going to see in this video, where we will cover how to configure and copy the source installation file to the shell location, create GPO and in case if we need to set advanced parameter, also we will verify the setting and assign policies. Before moving forward, if you are new to this particular channel or yet to subscribe, then please click subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM. Also in the description, you will get a link where series of MECM related videos are uploaded. So please subscribe. This is your host Yagnesh Malavya welcoming you. So to simulate this environment, we have three devices, one which is a MECM server, second which is our client computer where we are going to install the configuration manager client through GPO and third which is domain controller. Now the first thing that we are going to check is this particular device which is TSCL01. TSCL01 over here configuration manager client is not installed. We can check that in control panel. Also in the MECM server if I find this particular device, we see the client is not installed. So the first thing that we need to do it is we need to get the install source directory. For that, I will go to the install path of the configuration manager. Over here in my device, I have installed in D colon config manager. Within that, we will see a folder named bin. Within that, i386 and here we will see ccm setup.msi so this is a file which will be required for gpo installation so i will just copy this particular file and i'm going to create a shared location so let me create a shared location over here so new folder i'm giving gpo share I will share this particular location so that it is available to be connected through the network. So it's giving a read permission. That's fine. Okay. And close. So I will paste this particular file system setup.msi and I will just take this particular share location path, GPU share properties. And this is a path. So I can verify the same by going into the run and if I'm able to access. So yes, I'm able to access it. Now over here on the domain controller, I'm going to verify where is my client computer, the TSCL01 where it is located. So for me, it is located in this particular OU Melbourne within that computers this TSCL01 is located. So I will open group policy object editor, which is group policy management. And I will go to the same location, which is Melbourne OU. So over here, I will create a new group policy. Either I can create a group policy over here in the group policy object, or I can create it over here. It will be redirected here. So I'm going to create a group policy over here where I'm saying create a GPO in this domain and link it here where I'm stating client install GPO and pressing OK. Here I will click edit. So I need to define this particular GPO. So I will go to policies, windows setting, sorry, it would be in the software setting, software installation. Here I will do a right click new package. So I have shared a path, which is over here in the run. If you remember, I pasted this particular path, TSCAS GPO share. So this is a path which is available. So let me use the same path over here, open it. And this is a file. I will use select deployment method as assigned and okay. So now this is defined. 
now there's some more additional setting if you are looking forward to configure it then we need to define that so let me show you that too i will not be configuring it because it's not required for me and we'll click add over here i will use my cache location here sms cache tools and here we are seeing config manager adm template i need to select this and these are the two templates which are available this is for configuration manager assignment which particular site code we are going to assign and for the ccm setup installation setting we can configure so i will select both this templates and press ok and close it so as this particular thing is configured we have added over here we will see a classic administrative template i need to double click over here configuration manager configuration manager client so as i mentioned this is configure configure configuration manager site assignment over here i can assign a particular site what i am looking for if it's not configured it will take it by default and here configure configuration manager client deployment setting here we can configure the parameter if we are looking to use some advanced parameter like ccm setup and some other parameters that also we can define it however i'm not looking forward to configure it so let me go to my client computer where the client is not installed and over here i can just use gp update slash force command press enter so now it's updating policy yep so this is updated it's asking me if i want to restart my pc i will say yes and the device will be restarted so it's going to restart in a minute's time also in the domain controller we, we can verify the setting by going into the ou melbourne and within that we will see this particular mecm client gpo if i double click on it it is showing me the settings folder assigned application configuration manager client setup deployment information and this is a shared location the source location which we have provided so yes the setting is configured let me log in back to tscl01 over here at the start the application system setup should install so we can monitor it by going into the task manager more details details yep the installation is in progress so system setup is a for, is a file that we will be able to see it in the task manager also we will see a ccm setup folder and after a while we will see a ccm folder when the installation is initiated so this is something which is showing a message that this is triggered also we can have a check by going into rsop.msc which is resident set of policy is being processed so that information what all policies group policies defined what we are able to see it everything we are we will be able to notice over here so this should open in this if i go to configure configuration right click properties in the error information we see software installation is success so this is a detail today's date which is there and software installation completed successfully so this is something where we are able to notice that yes installation is triggered so that's the next thing where even if it's failing then we need to monitor this particular log within ccm setup logs and ccm setup dot log so over here it should show as zero that means that system setup is exiting with written code zero that is installed successfully so we will also observe a ccm folder where logs are updating if i go to configuration manager properties for that i can go to control panel over here i am seeing this particular configuration manager earlier it was not available now it is available because installation is triggered so we are seeing settings being there currently i'm seeing only two action items because it's still in configuration state if i go to my mecm console over here 
let me search this particular device so the client is showing yes it's a question mark because configuration is in progress and same thing we are able to see it in the ccm logs folder that's it's updating so that's the brief information on how we can configure group policy so the devices which are added to this particular location which is active directory user and computer melbourne computers any device which is part of this particular ou will get the sscm client automatically installed because that's the group policy that we have set so that's the knowledge that i am sharing if you are liking the content then please like and comment because your inputs are really encouraging me to come up with more knowledge videos also if you are yet to subscribe then please click subscribe so that you get more updates related to mecm on this particular channel with this this is yagnesh malavia thanking you for watching this video